Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to look at TypeSense, which is an open source alternative for your search requirements. Giving a great search experience to your user is mandatory. Search is a key factor in users discovering content on your website, whether it is a normal blog, a corporate website, or an e-commerce website. Everywhere, search plays an important role. Now, there are plenty of search alternatives like Algolia, which is a paid product. And obviously, they have a great product when it comes to providing a search experience for your user. But running it on production can be quite costly for many of us. The other popular alternative is Elasticsearch. However, it is quite difficult to configure and I have seen it requires a lot of resources to run it properly. So if you don't want to do a PhD in search, I would say TypeSense is the alternate because it is fast. It comes with configurations which would pretty much work for most of the use cases. It has a lot of features. If you go inside, for example, if you see it has type tolerances, merchandising, synonyms, so many things. And the best part, because it is open source, you can host it on your own infrastructure. And even now they are planning for a cloud based solution as well. So with these key factors, I decided to explore TypeSense. And on top of it, we also have the Laravel's Scout, which has a first party integration with TypeSense. So your overall experience working with Laravel for the search is so easy. In this video, we are going to run the TypeSense service as a Docker container. I will implement it inside an existing application that I'm building. And then we will install Scout, configure it to run with TypeSense. And finally, on the Tinker, we will see how the search results are coming and certain use cases where TypeSense really shines. So if this is something which you are interested in, then let's deep dive in and see how these things work. So I have an application of my own, which is Blogworm. It is an application which <clears throat> can be used by users to keep a track of the articles that they are reading and you know they can bookmark them over here. It has a little bit of gamification, for example, how, how many articles you have added every day and things like that. If you are interested, you can explore this application. I have uh, pushed the link in the description so that you can go there and register. Um, it's free. It uh, doesn't take any money and it can definitely help you. Now, in this application, I wanted to create a search experience. And today in this video, I will show you how TypeSense will allow you to integrate with Scout of Laravel and provide you with great API so that you can build a search UI. Now, to install or rather run TypeSense, you have multiple ways. Like on my Mac, I have it running with um, the brew uh, you have other options as well so for example if you go over here they have their cloud version as well on a local machine and this is the docker compose so if you want you can use you know brew to install if you see over here right you can do brew install blah 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 but that is not something which i'm gonna do although it is installed in my machine i will show you how this is used so i have a setup uh, let me see docker ps okay none are running so docker compose up i have a setup um if i want to show you github.com slash amitav roy and if you go to my repositories docker setup again i will link this in the description but this is the Docker setup that I use. You know, the documentation and everything is there. It basically gives me quite a few things. For example, it gives me the server side up uh, PHP image. It has MySQL, Redis, PHP MyAdmin, Node. I have a Vite running automatically and I have my MailPit. 
So it gives me, I would say, everything that is required to run a Laravel application. And on top of it, what I will do is take this and open up code and in here maybe open this up inside the services. So I have mail pit and then I can do type sense. Restart on failure, port is fine. Um, API key will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the data is going to be in the way that it's current directory data slash type sense. Okay, so it is docker slash data, right? Docker data and then I have type sense. Maybe not type sense data. Okay, pop, pop, pop. and I'll just mention the network as well so that you know they are able to communicate with each other. Um, this is done. So now, obviously, uh, previously my Docker PS would show that there is no. It has PHP my admin, the search, mail pit, uh, MariaDB, Node, and Redis, but it never had the uh, type sense thing. Now, if I do Docker compose restart, let's see if it picks it up. Docker composer, oh, sorry, compose. Okay, and I think it didn't pick up. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll just stop everything. And right now it is pulling the type sense image. Let us wait for this to kick in. Although the images are not very big. In the meantime, why don't we go to the Laravel documentation as well? Because mm, we need Scout. So we will also do the Scout's installation. So Scout is here. Uh, installation. First, we obviously need a Laravel Scout. So inside my Docker thing, why don't I? get into the container so like so and then i'll do docker compose this this is done i need to run this as well so in here what it is doing is publishing the, the service provider so we'll just do that and now we need to also install the uh, type sense library so that is over here if you see there is a driver prerequisite so for algolia you have this melee search you have this for type sense we have the type sense slash type sense php all right in the meantime i can also see that my type sense uh, docker container is running so with that done what i can do is this is all fine i'll close this out and inside here env i need to add a few keys for example, these things. Uh, so scout driver is type sense. The key is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Because that's what I did in the Docker Compose, right? And yeah, just do a copy paste. And then type sense host will be, oh, I need the Docker Compose file again. It's type sense because that's the name of my container. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the service inside the compose. Okay, so with this done, ideally, my application should be able to you know, kind of communicate with type sense. But then there are certain things that I additionally need to do. For example, the first thing, where is that? Yeah, if you see in the installation process, one important piece is I need to add this trait. So what I will do is I have a model called links, uh, sorry, link. So I would like to uh, add the search facility over here, the search table. Okay, it will not take those traits automatically. Somehow my VS code is not. Uh, I'm not able to configure it to you know, work with these Docker things. So I'll have to add them manually. Uh, my PHP Storm experience is a bit better. So this is done. So my model is now searchable. It has the trait. Then there are a couple of things which we need to do for scout to be ready for search. Uh, this is one. You need to define this. 
method which says to searchable array it has an id and i'm converting that into a string and then the created at okay this these two things are required and optionally if you want uh, there is one thing which I typically do uh, where is it mm, index configuring model index is that the one yes searchable as so I try to define this although I know it will be generally correct but links index okay this is something which I defined now this is ready and when we published you know the things from the service provider right this file scout.php was created and in here I will need to tell scout about my model okay this is important otherwise things will not work this has all the configurations around you know type sense but yeah the, I'll basically cover this one so I have this snippet which I'll just paste and I'll explain you so I'm saying that the link class collection schema has these fields which is you know ID which is of type string URL type string description type string and created at which is an int 64 okay additionally I said that the search parameters query by can be URL and it can be other things as well and it depends um, you may even skip this uh, but by default yeah this is the value I think I have everything in place let me just so PHP artisan tinker and if I oh no sorry not tinker PHP artisan scout okay I have a few commands that scout gives me what I will do is I'll use the import and I need to mention the model so app models link once I do that okay it failed fields are required I have the fields model links scout import let me look at the code once again so I have uh, this is an array this is a string searchable trait is added hmm. I think there's something wrong in the search parameters is fine I don't understand what is the reason for this problem link class uh, I think what I'll have to do is do a use because it is not able to find that so I have models yeah I was telling you right I mean this configuration somehow it is not picking things up otherwise you know, it should have come now I think it will a, be able to do that let me check yes 123 things are imported that means this is working uh, it now says index is 4 okay fair enough so let's do one thing go inside tinker and let's try to search so models link not query search for let's say level uh, I need to give options uh, you will see uh, over here mm. yeah so this is the way you can form your search query so to do search which means my model search so I'm doing links search and then the thing which I want to search options get okay and inside the option what I will do is say search query by sorry and it will be description and I get a few results all right now this is something which even the database can do but yes at least our search is working right if I do something like type sense type sense api type sense type sense okay great how about engineering okay this one doesn't work that shortcut to delete a word somehow 
doesn't want work inside Tinker. So, okay. One example of type tolerances in G near, let's say I make it something wrong. And can you see it is taking engineering, right? One, two, three. Even, yeah, I mean, other, other words, right? It does understands those nitty gritties and it will help you uh, fix those problems. I mean, end user can make mistake and still it will be fine. <laughs> That's what I would rather say. And then if I search for the proper word engineering, obviously, again, these three things would come. But then there's one more catch. Let's just say, can you see in one of them, it says curated engineering blogs. How about I do engineering blogs curated? Well, can you see this item came as a search result? The reason it is important to know is see the curated word was not after the engineering blogs. It is before engineering blogs. It says a curated list of engineering blogs. And still, when I searched for engineering blogs curated, it understands that language. This is where I think a search engine like TypeSense really comes into play and it is fast. It understands this. Yes, obviously you get um, same kind of results with Algolia as well, but you know, it comes at a price if you are you know, running a serious application. Hobby applications can still be in the uh, free tier. But yes, beyond any um, you know, uh, significant user base, you will come into a situation where you need to pay Algolia. However, TypeSense, does give you all these things out of the box you know it's uh, based on a docker container so you can easily host it and it has many other things as i showed you um let us go back so this these are other features which i'm really excited about especially the e-commerce kind of things uh, including you know the uh, the facetings the merchandising and stuff like that so yeah this is my a review of TypeSense, uh, how I implemented that inside my application. I mean, I'm still in the process of doing that. My basic uh, backend implementation is done because I'm able to do Tinker and I'm able to get that uh, search result. So it's just a matter of creating the form and getting the search results in. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how easy it is to implement TypeSense using uh, Scout inside a level application. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, and your views uh, mentioned below in the comments. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.